the morning huddles in uh, every company seem to be different. And I could I, I would think that Ticket City for you, the morning huddle and what you cover is fundamentally different than opening a restaurant and saying, all right, rah, rah, get after it. Take care of the, the customer today. Um, what's the subject matter difference for you and how do you approach those two different things? I'll take you back to a, a really fun point in my life when uh, we had the Ticket City Bowl. And we were the first brokerage company to actually have a bowl game. And the second year was Penn State versus University of Houston. You know, my name's on the bowl. I wanted a amazing game. I wanted ESPN to be lit up. I don't care if these guys were doing backflips, cartwheels. How do we get Ticket City out there to be seen? I went out there and they let me do the coin toss. And I'm about to do the coin toss. I got Penn State towering over me on the right. I have Houston and Case Keenum towering over on the left. And I look at these boys about to do the coin toss. And I said, I can't just do a coin toss. I need to make a speech. I need to pump these boys up. It's game day. And I looked at them and I said, gentlemen, victory loves preparation. And today you all have prepared yourselves to be victorious. And I looked at Penn State towering over me to the right. And I said, fellas, will you boys play with the soul of a lion and give it everything you have. Can you do that for me, boys? They looked at me like deer in headlights at first pregame coin toss speech. Yes, sir, we will. Then I looked at Case Keenum, NFL quarterback still, and I said, Case, Houston, will you all play with the heart of a cougar and lay it all out there? Can you do that for me, boys? Yes, sir, yes, sir, we will. I did the coin toss. Worst coin toss ever. Wafted a little bit to the right, hit a Penn State player in the helmet, bounced 20 yards the other way. The referee was just furious <laughs> at me. He had to waddle and see the damn coin toss. It was heads. That was the only thing Penn State won all game. And this is how you know you're doing good. I'm carrying the big Eagle Ticket City Bowl trophy out on the field after the game. Case Keenum locks eyes on my eyes. He points at me. And you know what he says? He says, heart of a cougar, baby, heart of a cougar. He remembered the pregame coin toss speech. You got to love that. It's not what we say in life, Brad. It's not what we say. It's how we feel. And at the end of the conversation, they didn't remember my pregame coin toss speech, but they remember that they were pumped up. Case Keenum led him to vigor. He was pumped up, a heart of a cougar. You can't love others until you really love yourself. And if you love yourself, and you're going into a place, bringing good energy and making people feel good is really the key to success because they're not going to remember what you said. But they will remember how you made them feel. I love that. Well, that's the that's the the possibility of any given day, any given moment, that initial kickoff every day is your chance. And you never really know what's going to stick with people. You know, in that moment, this is a big fucking moment for those kids, right? <laughs> They're playing a, one of the biggest yep. games of their lives, the big moment. So it makes sense for it to be memorable. But what you don't know are any given moment, any given day, any given week, month, year, what somebody's going through and how your words are going to impact them.